Hi everybody, this is Amy. I am going to go over the assignment for today and it will also help you know what you're doing on Friday. Uh, first of all, you're doing the prompt. Hopefully you started with that the first few minutes of class. Uh, I have a couple of reminders for you. Uh, turn in your pre-instruction drawings. That's the hand, the object, the self-portrait. Please put them on the turn-in shelf. Also turn in you who are you art to the turn-in shelf. If you have not taken a photo of that, please make sure you take a photo and put that in your OneNote. But make sure you get that uh, original assignment turned in so I can get those graded. Okay, so we already talked about sketching and drawing style, so please go and review the OneNote. If you missed that assignment or you need to see what the sketching is all about, there's a couple of videos in there that are really great that you can watch. One is about the five stages of drawing, and another one is a young person talking about drawing styles, which is really important to watch. We also looked at some sketching style examples, and these are in your OneNote. This is just screenshots from your OneNote. So please take a look at these and know it's gonna take you a little bit of time to come up with your style, but the best thing for you to do is to practice. So keep practicing. Also take a look at some of the other examples in OneNote you're going to be drawing from life and it's really important that you're doing observational drawings so you're having the object in front of you when you're drawing please don't draw from your phone or pictures or things like that you want to draw from the object so this is an example of someone drawing from an, a pair that's sitting you know at the table and they're using their gestures contour and guidelines then they're adding some value, which I'm going to show you some examples of. So please keep in mind that these are in the OneNote if you need to see examples. So we talked about how the sketchbook is a place for you to practice and experiment with materials and, and drawing. So please, you know, continue to take it back and forth from home. If you ever forget your sketchbook, that's okay. I always have paper available. And also, your sketchbook is really a place for studying. I talked about the pencils yesterday too. This is important for you to know about 9H to 9B. This is a, a value scale and I taped it to the cupboard so you could see uh, it's right on the cupboard where the pencils are located. So please keep in mind that the, the lightest is going to be a high number H and the darkest pencil is going to be a high number B. Okay, so keep that in mind. So what you're going to be doing is uh, please continue sketching practice today. We're going to spend about 20 minutes doing sketching practice and continue, continuing where we left off last time. So get out your objects to sketch and sketch as many as you like whoops, um, in your sketchbook. I want you to use H and B pencils and experiment with them. So about 20 minutes to do that today. Then, uh, goodness, it keeps advancing on me here. I want you to spend some time working on this. And this is um, types of shading and value. So this handout will be at your table and you can keep it, you can tape it in your sketchbook if you would like. I want you to try out these five different types of value. One is stippling, it's tiny little dots. The closer the dots, the darker the value. Also think about the type of pencil you're using. The higher the number of B pencil, the darker it's gonna be. Scumbling is the next one. That's basically scribbling or mark making. And the closer they are together and overlapping, the darker the areas are. The next one is shading. And shading is when you're using the graphite pencils to create uh, value and smoothing it with a blending stick. The blending sticks are over on the counter or up in the cupboard there. They're just compressed paper that allows you to smear 
a little bit and smooth it. Then you can use an eraser to clean up areas and add lighter areas. The next one is smudging and smudging is basically smearing. You can use a tissue, you can use your finger and it smears it from one direction to the other. It's, it's similar to shading, but it's a little bit more um, just like directional. You can also clean up your edges with an eraser. And the last one is hatching and cross hatching. So hatching is a whole bunch of different lines and um, the closer they are together, obviously the darker it's gonna be. But the key with hatching and cross hatching is that it's the direction of the lines. If everything's in one direction, it's hatching. But when you cross over and it looks like this, that's, that's cross hatching. So you can do this practice however you want. I would just spend about 15 minutes just practicing these skills uh, you can practice them like this if you'd like, or you can draw some boxes and practice. Please label them though, because labeling them will help you understand and remember what techniques that you tried. So last semester, we used these techniques uh, later in the, the module, but this semester we're gonna start them early so you can incorporate them into an assignment we're gonna do that's a graded assignment called studies, okay? Um, and that we're going to be starting next week. But before we start it, I want you to practice studies. So I'm going to just review it quickly, and then I'm going to show you some examples. And then you're going to practice studies in your sketchbook. So this example here is a study of lamp posts, like throughout a city. And what you can see is a variety of different lamp posts done in light pencil, then Sharpie, and then watercolor. This is done in a sketchbook that's opened up with two pages. You only have to do one page, but you can practice as many as you like. So let's take a look at uh, some basics of studies. Now that you've seen an example, I can tell you that studies are visual examinations of objects. It's, it's basically used to inform us about something. It's like studying for a test, but you're visually studying objects. Studies usually include text and information that enhances the drawing or gives you basic or detailed information. Uh, you're gonna be using pencil, Sharpie, and watercolor. So you can practice with any of these materials that you'd like. Please make sure you clean up after yourself if you're gonna try just practice with the watercolor. Uh, the watercolor is in a cabinet um, it's opened up, it's up above the pencils. Please put everything back when you're done if you get to the watercolor. If you don't get to the watercolor Thursday or Friday, no problem, we're gonna be doing that um, the following week. So studies can lead to other artworks uh, that are final artworks. A lot of artists may practice hands or practice a composition uh, study before they actually do a painting. And then of course, it's practicing observational work. So here, are some great examples of studies. There's some shells, uh, there's the lampposts again, a different kind of lamppost here, just a drawing. These are done with charcoal and watercolor, those are beautiful. This is a Leonardo da Vinci uh, drawing. He did uh, studies of body parts and he drew them, he measured things, he, um, he got corpses from a morgue, he would dissect them and draw them. And some of his studies are what medical professionals have used for a very, very long time uh, to learn about the body. And of course, here's one of hands, a study of hands prior to a painting. Here's some student examples. These are really beautiful. They're all very different. This one is just shells. This one has a couple of other things mixed in, some fruit and shells, three views, different angles two views, two angles here. And then the, these, are, actually the first two are done with pencil, Sharpie, and watercolor. There's even some little studies of color here, and there's lots of text. This one is different. It's still a shell study, but it's a variety of different shells, um, mostly with pencil and watercolor, and they haven't really added any um, any marker. So they're all very beautiful, all really well done. But you can choose whatever objects you like. Uh, I do want you to know that there are demonstration videos in the OneNote. It's important for you to know this, so if you uh, need to go and watch them, you can. This is the assignment overview from last semester. Uh, there are, there's a video of me drawing shells. Then there's a video of me drawing some flowers with different views. This one I add colored pencil. And then this is the 
um, demonstration I'm going to show you next week about watercolor, and you can watch it if you want to. It's all, they're all in one note. So you're going to be practicing studies in your sketchbook for the last part of class. The first part of class is just sketching practice. The middle part is working on the value practice. The last part of class is working on practicing studies in your sketchbook, okay? So practice, practice. Make sure you take a little break when you get a chance. Um, stay in the room, sign out, use the pass, um, enjoy working with the materials. And then of course, don't forget to clean up when you're all done, okay? So I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.